Solidarity, though, is happening here in South Florida for those in Cuba. Meanwhile, Governor DeSantis making a stop in Miami today with big news about the Freedom Tower. Local 10 News reporter Madeline Wright continues our team coverage. Madeline. Janice Christie, many Cuban Americans get emotional when they walk inside the Freedom Tower here because this is where their parents came to get processed as refugees fleeing Fidel Castro's regime. This building is 96 years old and badly in need of an upgrade. Now, amid protests in Cuba, a proposal is in the works to give the building a facelift. We will restore the Freedom Tower. Governor Ron DeSantis is proposing a $25 million investment to bring Miami's iconic Freedom Tower back to its former glory. I'm proud to be able to put this in our budget. I think we're going to get strong support from the Florida legislature to be able to do this. The funding would allow Miami-Dade College, which owns the tower, to complete urgent structural repairs, increase accessibility for people with disabilities, install museum quality climate control and security systems, and redesign the historical exhibits to make them more appealing for all ages. For us, the Freedom Tower at Miami-Dade College is about preserving our history. The governor's announcement comes the same day protesters are planning to take to the streets in Cuba, hoping to reignite the marches that began in July to demand food, medicine, and freedom. Patria y vida. Yesterday, a caravan of Cuban Americans traveled from Tamiami Park to the Freedom Tower to show solidarity with Cubans on the island, struggling amid decades of repression. Cuba is the cancer, the metastasis is in Venezuela, in Nicaragua, in Bolivia, in Colombia, and in our whole hemisphere. During the governor's announcement, he slammed President Joe Biden's administration for not doing more for Cuba. He says the state of Florida stands with protesters on the island nation. Live in Miami, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News. All right, Madeline, thank you for that.